Hello guys and welcome back to Pro Web Coder and today I'm going to talk about the Shopify theme architecture. In the previous chapter I talked about um, you know moving on to uh, professional design but before starting that I would uh, ensure that you know about Shopify theme architecture because that's really important because that's the base of how we are going to build the theme. So first of all you need to know about the Shopify theme architecture so let's begin so let's uh you know assume that we are uh, you know wh what is a theme architecture what is a theme architecture it's the theme con you know theme contents which are uh, available in, in in shopify which can be the structure you know the structure of uh, the theme so let's read it uh, a theme controls uh, the organization features and style of a merchant's online store theme code is organized with standard directory structure which i'm going to talk about in uh, later in this uh, tutorial uh, structure of files specific to shopify themes as well as supporting assets such as images style sheets and scripts if this this went uh, above your head then you know i'm just going to explain it to you so basically what they are saying this uh, that you know the theme architecture consists of a list of files you know, or a list of directory structure which is being followed by shopify so let's take this as, as an example for example we have this web page we have this web page and in this web page uh, we have this outer structure we have this inner structure we have uh, you know other components uh, like like uh, we have uh, groups section groups we have uh, you know blocks and and so on so let's see what 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 we have so if we talk about this first point that's the layout file you know the layout file so in this uh, we have the theme dot liquid and password dot liquid so that's uh, the layout file and the second is the template file so the template file consists of uh, um, you know it consists of either page uh, it, it can be article it can be a product and so on so the third is a section groups so section groups is a group of uh, sections you know collected together and um, you know is created as a single section right so that's consists of a section group then comes the sections sections are uh, you know uh, functionality blocks which are being created by uh, us developers or you know is, are inbuilt with with uh, the theme which you buy although they are built by shopify developers only the developers of the theme and then the blocks the blocks are uh, parts of the sections okay so for example this this is a section and in inner parts are called blocks so what is a layout file it's the base of uh, the theme used uh, you, you you know we can use it for uh, putting our header and footer the template is a control you know what as i told you about what is a, a template it contains uh, different types of content such as home page or product page and and so on and even uh, with 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 the you know latest shopify 2.0 versions we do see that uh, we have json templates so with with the extension of uh, for example page.json for example product.json and so on all right then section groups these are containers that enable merchants to add remove or reorder sections in the area of so for example uh, we we create a header group you know a header section uh, and in in that uh, whatever we change in that particular uh, group that is going to be into that particular uh, group only like it will change on onto that particular group not complete website not not complete other sections all right so what about sections sections are again reusable customizable modules uh which are the uh, you know which can be used for some functionality all right and then again blocks are part of sections so these are reusable customizable modules of content that can be added to sections all right so 
now that's uh, how a shopify theme directory structure looks like like we have the assets assets consi consists of uh, uh, all the you know the js files the images if in case we have images uh, the js files and uh, it, it, it might consist of uh, uh, images css files and and so on like uh, whatever st uh, is is required like is is to be a part of uh, the theme uh, in in terms of js css or maybe sometimes images are also hosted over here then comes the config config is as uh, like it's a configuration file which uh, consists of settings.json and data.json in in that uh, whatever uh, like changes we made make to the theme file the theme settings are stored in into this config file all right and in, in this we do uh, have the name of the theme and so on so then comes the layout layout again um, as i told you about the layout we have that structure already defined then locales are different languages which we can uh, put in and um, you know uh, some translations are uh, you know kept into this section mm -hmm. then comes the section as uh, you know as you know the sections are uh, building blocks like we, 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 we try to build something with the help of sections snippets are uh, small building blocks and uh, you know kind of functionality again similar to sections but they are not uh, customizable they are kind of uh, you know blocks which we can call inside a section then come the templates templates i as i already told you like it's uh, uh, it, it consists of uh, uh, it, it consists of uh, theme dot liquid and uh, not theme dot liquid sorry it consists of uh, uh, pro page dot liquid or page dot json all the templates e either can be a product it it can be a uh, page it can be an article it can be a blog it can be a customer for example this uh, customer so that's how it's uh, it, the structure includes all right um, you know i have explained about ss ss uh, directory con consists of all uh, the theme um, you know uh, including image uh, javascript and css files so config uh, consists of config files uh, define settings of the theme setting as uh, as i told you that uh, it consists of setting files and setting area all right the layout file consists of uh, layout files um, through which template files are rendered the locals are uh, you know are used for pro to provide translated content as i told you and then the sections uh, may contain section or section groups are liquid files that are used uh, that that create reusable reusable means like you can use it anywhere in, inside uh, your theme all right can be easily customized by uh, merchants and they can also include blocks which allow merchants uh, to add remove and reorder content all right section groups are json containers that allow merchants to re add remove and reorder the section in the areas of the layout files such as the header and the footer all right so as i told you like it's uh you know area specific the groups uh the snippet directory contains liquid files uh, that host smaller reusable snippets of code so as i told you before and the template contains the template file which controls the rendered uh, you know which controls what are rendered in each type of page uh templates uh, slash customer directory contains the you know template files for customer centric pages like login and uh, you know account overview pages so so that was it about the structure and hopefully you understood see the, the layout file is uh, uh, giving a brief layout of uh, what i'm gonna actually create detailed video for each one of these sections and uh, you know i'll try to explain the layout file and the template file i'll uh, be creating the section groups i'll be creating the sections and the blocks and you know before uh, going into that uh, developing that theme i'll be explaining uh, first of all these uh, these things uh, which are important for 
uh, creating so I'll create a rough structure with the help of these uh, layout files so I uh, will not proceed as it is uh, for uh, creating that professional design right now but you know once we complete this topic so once this topic is completed then we'll move on to the next section of creating the uh, you know the professional design as per uh, the file I shared all right so uh, I'll look forward to uh, next tutorial and um, hopefully you did like my video if you like please do share and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time thank you